morning. Do you agree, agree with your colleague Tom Watson that Labour should be campaigning for Remain in a second referendum no matter what? Look, the Labour Party's in good spirits. We've just had a very good week. We've defeated the government six times. Um, we're united around the idea there should be a referendum um, on any outcome this uh, government puts forward um, and that we should have a referendum um, in our manifesto and that Remain should be one of the options in that referendum. So at the moment there's a good discussion going on but we're very united having that discussion. We're not shutting down the discussion unlike Johnson and Cummings. We don't want to shut down discussion in our party. Um, we certainly don't want to shut down Parliament but we're in good spirits um, and as I say referendum on any deal now uh, and referendum in the manifesto um, and so that's uh, a really important united position. Thank you. Johnson as Prime Minister. That used to be a joke. Now it's reality. A man of no conviction, no real regard for the truth, who's installed a right-wing cabinet, have no mistake about that, and who is now openly talking about breaking the law. This is a Tory party that's given up on being a serious party of government and it is setting about tearing up the values that bind us together, both as a trade union movement, a labour movement, but actually across the country. I can tell you over the summer there were lots... He is taking us down a right-wing Trumpian road, and this is a serious moment for everybody in our movement and across the country, because everybody has to ask themselves at this moment which side are you on in this battle? To enforce the law. To and so we have to put a stop to this. We've beaten them in Parliament. We're going to have to beat them at the ballot box. That battle is coming. It cannot and it should not be put off. We need a Labour government. We need a radical Labour government. We need a government capable of pulling us back from the no-deal brink and transforming our society and public services. Equipment from abroad into this country. People are yearning, yearning to move on. And we've got to find a way to do so. Congress, a referendum, is the only way forward. Jeremy was right. Jeremy was right to say at this Congress yesterday that an incoming Labour government will commit to a referendum. We have to break the impasse. We have to find a way forward. A referendum is the only way. He does not have authority. The Scottish Scotland's highest court has ruled the parliamentary suspension unlawful. Um, wow. And, um, Better get back to London. So, <laughs> so. It was obvious, I think, to everybody that not only was shutting down Parliament at this crucial time the obviously wrong thing to do, we should be sitting each and every day to resolve this crisis, but that the Prime Minister was not telling the truth about why he was doing it. And this is really important. The idea of shutting down Parliament, I think, offended people across the country, and then they felt that they weren't being told the truth. And that sums up the man. I'm really pleased with this result. I'm surprised because for a court to make a declaration like that on an issue like this is a huge thing um, for us. It vindicates everything we've done last week. And I think what I can do and what others need to do is to get back to Parliament, see if we can't open those doors and get back in and get Boris Johnson back in Parliament so we can hold him properly to account. Thank you, Congress.